Hey, good morning. Good afternoon, everybody. It is one o'clock. Wow, this day went by so fast, can I tell you? So we have a big storm system rolling on in. It's going to start to impact us by fairly early on across northern Utah tomorrow and then uh, more widespread. So the system is going to be developing throughout our Wednesday and then hopefully by Thursday, we get some beneficial snowfall. I mean, snow means a lot around here. It's our way of life. So it would be nice to finally get some snow huh? to match what everybody likes to do in the winter, which is to be outside. I, I'm okay with it. You know, as a meteorologist, I look at it as a necessity. I love snow forecasting. Being in it, eh, I wouldn't say it's my bag, but you know, it's important. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to <laughs> click these buttons. Okay, let's get going. Right now, we're just seeing a little bit of cloud cover across southern Utah. Some of that cloud cover from the storm system, actually, that we're going to be dealing with is really starting to fill in across southern Idaho and northern Utah. And you can see just how substantial this is. Look at this. There's our low off the Pacific Northwest. It is packing quite the punch. Seattle's getting absolutely hammered. Same for Vancouver. Spokane is getting some snow. Um, and then all across northern Idaho. Portland getting a little bit of rain. And northern Oregon getting some snow there as well. Here at home, that storm system isn't close to us yet. Just mostly sunny, very mild, calm before the storm, if you will. Across southern Utah, they're getting actually some cloud cover from the slow that formed off of the Baja Peninsula. Very weak. It's dry low. We're not going to get much from that. Southern California getting a little bit of rain, but uh, not too substantial for us here at home. Currently, Salt Lake City, we are sitting in the upper 40s. 50 is our forecasted high right now. If we're at 49, I might have to bump up that high, but I think that's probably where we're going to be in the low 50s today. Feeling a little bit cooler because of those winds coming in from the south, from that storm system. It's a little bit breezy across southern Utah as well. Not much else going on today. Just that sunshine. Take advantage of today because the next 48 hours are going to be a bit on the messy side. Uh, currently sitting in the upper 40s for Logan as well. Low 40s for Price. That's much of central and northern utah at this point upper 30s or 40s northeastern utah i should say and then low 50s for saint george so throughout the rest of the day the morning yesterday we did get a little bit of a, some additional snowfall it was so funny i watched this TikTok last night it was park city monday no sunday because yesterday was monday it was park city sunday and it just had mud and then it was yesterday and it all changed to snow. So it's amazing what a day can do in the mountains, huh? Powder Mountain 2, Snowbird 13, 15 for Solitude, 4 for Sundance, 3 for Woodward. So definitely locally, some areas got a lot. More than expected, especially for Brighton. Two feet, that's crazy. Deer Valley at 12, 3 for Eagle Point, 12 for Alta, and then five for beaver mountain so across the board really nice so here's what we can expect heading forward this is a look on average totals so mountains six to twelve benches three to six valleys one to three so that is our best guess at this point valleys could be a little bit less but there is a 50 to 60 percent chance that the valleys will be getting snow and we'll take those odds, considering how very disappointing this winter has been in general. Higher amounts happening near Point of the Mountain and um, throughout Sevier County. Bear River Range, Wasatch Back, Uintas. Typical places east of 15th. Now let's do locally. I went too far. Some models don't like to go over 48 hours out. I respect that. All right. Beaver Mountain close to 10. Mirror Lake 9. Park City over 2. That probably is going to be a little bit on the higher end, I bet. I bet. 8. Alta 14. Sundance close to 5. Here's a look. So this primarily is going to be a northern storm system all the way into central Utah there as well as we saw with Point of the Mountain. 
But uh, as far as southern Utah is concerned, the mountains will get some snow. Won't be a lot, but they'll get some. And uh, a slight chance for rain uh, throughout Washington near St. George on Thursday. But this is primarily going to be impacting northern Utah. Let me take my face off. Okay, there you go. Let's take a look at rain. Oh, this is not the right rain graphic. Let me see what else I got. I'm going to go through the rest of this snow and then we'll go into rain because that's the wrong rain graphic. I apologize for that. Hi, Lynetta. Thank you for watching. All right. So let's time out this puppy. So the rest of the day today, just fine. Mostly sunny. Little bit of some cloud cover will develop late tonight into early tomorrow morning ahead of that main line. And then we'll start to pick up a little bit of moisture. So this have this is having, so if you're watching the show early on today, timing is a little bit off with our models. We have one model, the her model, which tends to be pretty good the day of. This is a long range model. It kind of gives you a look at precipitation. Not It's not great on timing. So some northern mountain snow by early afternoon. The her model had it as early as about nine. So late morning, early afternoon, let's go there. We're starting off with a little bit of some snow across southern Idaho and northern Utah. And if you always wonder, why, why do they talk about Idaho? Why do they talk about Wyoming? Why do they talk about Nevada? Because our viewing area is huge. We have viewers in Elko and Ely. We have viewers in southern Idaho. We have viewers in Evanston in southwestern Wyoming. We even have viewers in Page, which is northern Arizona. So our viewing area is really big. That's why we cover a lot of the Intermountain West. So this is really going to set in by late afternoon, early evening Wednesday. We're going to start to pick up a few light showers for your drive home tomorrow. I really don't expect it to be that messy for the drive home because the storm system by then will just have started in. So we're going to start off with that rain Wednesday. That is going to continue. Snow is going to start to develop all along that I-15 corridor. And then come Wednesday night into Thursday, that's where those rain snow levels, that's where that snow level is, snow line is going to plummet. Because for the first time this year, we're going to have temperatures that support that. We're going to have those temperatures making it to the upper 20s, low 30s. And that's going to allow that snow, that precipitation to change over to snow close to the valley floors. So come drive to work Thursday, snow. Pretty messy. That's going to continue throughout your Thursday and then eventually clearing out by midday as far as the chances for valley snow as those temperatures get a little bit warmer. Southern mountains still packing it on. Northern mountains along the Wasatch still packing it on there as well. Still continuing to see a little bit of snow across the eastern mountains into late Thursday, early Friday. And then by Friday afternoon, most of it will be out of here. And then this high pressure, really nice high pressure system is going to build in behind it. And that is going to be bringing down our air quality because you can see how substantial it is. And that's pretty much going to dominate us for at least the first half of the work week. You're welcome, Desiree. I hope for snow. We all should hope for snow. This is what Desiree says. Hope for snow. That should be a shirt. I want to suggest that. Fox 13. Am I breaking out in a rash? <laughs> Sometimes they just randomly break out in hives. It's crazy. Maybe I'm just getting excited. All right. In case you were wondering, here's a look at today's highs the state 
a little bit lower tomorrow, but still well above average. Thursday will be pretty close to where we should be, upper 30s. Gino Salt said, did snowman out of tumbleweeds. Hopefully you took a picture of that. Here's a look at the seven-day forecast across southern Utah. Low to mid-50s and then dipping down a little bit for our Thursday, Friday. Like I said, this primarily is going to be a northern system. Just kind of like what we talked about. If you watched our winter weather special, we were like northern. We're going to get above average snowfall. Southern Utah is going to be well below. And that's because we're favoring a La Nina pattern, which tends to have that jet kind of just dancing, right teetering in central Utah. So it wants to allow a lot of snow for northern Utah, but that jet is so far north, it doesn't allow a lot of snow for southern Utah, which is a shame. But we have been getting a decent amount of rain across in the Utah, so that's good. All right. Let me mess with this rain graphic really quick. Oh, let me show you the... All right. Here's a look at northern Utah's seven-day forecast. Um, biggest thing to note with this is those overnight lows. Take a look at that. They're going to plummet down to the low 20s. Wednesday into Thursday, and those temperatures are going to dip down to below freezing into early Thursday, and that's what's going to allow for that precipitation to change over to snow. Mid to upper 30s Friday, Saturday, and then upper 30s Sunday, Monday. It is still going to be rather chilly into next week, but it's going to be sunny. And that's pretty much exactly where we should be with those daytime highs and those overnight lows. Daytime highs, upper 30s, overnight lows, low to mid 20s. All right, let me mess with this graphic on the timing here really quick. And then I will show you what we're talking about as far as rain. Baby, 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 when you touch me like that. I've got Celine Dion songs stuck in my head. All right. Here's a look at potential rain. I'll be honest with you. I think this is a little high. I think this is a little high. I, whoa. I don't think we're going to get a half inch of rain in Salt Lake City by Thursday afternoon. I'm thinking on the high end, maybe a quarter of an inch. Half of an inch that quickly would be kind of crazy. But here just look, here just showed in St. George, three tenths of an inch. I think that's also a little bit on the high end. I don't think that's going to happen. Sometimes I don't mind being wrong. I'd be okay with if I was wrong with St. George, but I don't think so. I think maybe a few hundredths of an inch, three tenths, being a little bit generous here. And sometimes our models are. But all right, everybody, I don't really see any questions, just comments. So thank you so much for commenting. We really appreciate it. But I just did want to give you a heads up. Um, I'm going to be on stream for like four hours on Thursday morning, giving you up to date timing on the storm system. So if you want to join me, I'll be on and off. I do take breaks. Um, but uh, save your questions for then and join me because I think I'm going to start at 5 a.m. and then pretty much go until 9 or 10. And then I'll be there for middays. So, um, all right, everybody, be safe. You know now, okay? I want to keep you safe, and I want you to drive carefully Thursday morning. Be careful. Be careful. All right, everybody, have a good one. We'll chat tomorrow. Same time, same place. It'll be fun. Bye.